What should I even be investing in right now in my 401k? No idea where to start? Watch this video. So when it comes to your 401k selections, we've got to start with these five simple tips. Now be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end because I've got a special offer for everybody that watches this video. So when we're looking at your 401k, where do we start? Well, when we start, number one, you've got to find something called a plan document. What is that? You know that little email you get from HR every single year that explains all the different program offerings for you? your disability insurance, your life insurance, you've got to choose your health insurance benefits. Well, it typically has something in there as well for your 401k or 403b if you're at a nonprofit organization like a hospital or your teacher. Uh, so what is exactly in there? That document's going to explain exactly how your plan works. It's going to tell you, do you have a company match? For instance, if you put in 4% of every paycheck, how much does the company match? Now, there's some companies right now that offer no match. So if that's the case, you may not even take advantage of the 401k. But other companies uh, do a very good job of trying to help you out with planning for retirement by giving you a match on whatever money you commit to. So if you commit to 4%, they'll match up to that 4%, for instance. Now, it's also important that we look at when you're reviewing the plan document, what options are actually available in there. For instance, does it allow you to not only save in a traditional uh, 401k where you haven't paid the tax on your money yet, but does it give you an option where you can save in a uh, Roth IRA? And that Roth IRA, you haven't, uh, you go ahead and you pay the tax now. All the growth that you have on that plan, in the future, that money is yours. That's a fantastic way to also save for the future. Potentially, it's going to help you out with avoiding a lot of additional tax that you would have if you delayed paying the tax. Now, it's going to be different for everybody, and I'm happy to do uh, a sit down with you to help you out with that. You can click the link below for a 15-minute conversation so that I can look and see for you, does that make sense? Is there something that you need to take advantage of with that? Number two, we look at you actually have to enroll got to complete the plan enrollment form. If you don't do that, most companies are not set up to automatically enroll you in saving for your retirement. So you've got to take advantage of that. And then we look and we see when we're enrolling, did we select the right options? Are we in that pre-tax savings or are we in the Roth savings? Why is that Roth so important? Why do I keep harping on it? Well, if you are a high income earning family, and for this, I'm saying a family uh, household that's making over $200,000 that you potentially are not going to be able to contribute to a Roth IRA whatsoever. The reason that's so important is because if a Roth feature is inside of your 401k, that limitation no longer applies. They offer things like automatically rebalancing. Why is an automatic rebalance important? If you've set up your allocations and your money's going into this plan over time, you might have certain things that better perform than other things that are kind of lagging behind. So now your risk could be out of balance. You could have more risk that you're taking on than what you initially intended to do with that. That's where it comes to having the ability to have professional advice. Your plan, whether you know it or not, might offer professional guidance from a financial advisor. Even if that plan does not offer a financial advisor, that's something that we can help you out with. So I can actually help you out with your plan by using technology that we have to be able to get into your plan, your specific plan, know what funds you have available, make the allocation choices and changes for you, and then communicate them with you so that you know that that was actually done. This is a service that we offer for a fee. It is something that we want to make sure that we're helping out with proactive advice. Proactive advice when it comes to your investment planning means that we're not waiting until something happened to then go in and, you know, you, you call us up and you say, hey, I haven't rebalanced my account in the last couple years. Should I? Can you look at it and see should I make any changes? No, we're making sure that we're taking advantage of every three months, once a quarter, that we're making those adjustments to stay in tune with where the market uh, is reacting right now. For instance, if large U.S. companies are growing better than small international uh, companies, 
well, that's where we would more likely position your accounts. But making sure that we're always staying in line with what risk you're willing to take on. So that'll bring me now to uh, actual <laughs> the number three. You set up all of these accounts. You set up your life insurance beneficiaries. Who do you want this account to go to for your 401k? Please pay attention to who the beneficiary is you have on your account. Last week, I was having a conversation with someone, and she had her ex-husband still listed as the beneficiary. So you want to keep this information up to date. Why? Because if you have a will or a trust and you've decided who you want money to go to, but yet you've already set it up on this account, this account will trump that. It will go on whatever your account says to do, not based upon that trust or legal document that you set up. That means nothing. It actually goes above that. It never goes through probate to be able to reach those documents. Number four, we want to look at what investment options do you have. So remember I said that we can look and we can actually drill into your account? Well, if you don't have someone doing that for you, you've got to do it alone. It's important. This is going to be a really large part of your future more than likely. For most people, this is your largest investment even above and beyond what the cost of your home is. So you're going to rely on this money to carry you through for the rest of your life, potentially. Why put it at risk of not knowing what's happening with it? You know, there was a survey Prudential did uh, in 2016, so it's a few years back, that 40% of people had no idea what they were even invested in when it came to their 401k. Don't be that person. We want to make sure that you're able to see what you're in and why you're making those adjustments and changes. So a professional should be able to help you out and guide you through that process. Uh, you also are going to see in those fund selections options that look like they're actually actively managed. They're called target date funds. Now target date funds, you'll see them, they're easy to spot out because it'll have years in the title. So it might say retirement 2050 fund or retirement 2040 fund. It's designed to automatically adjust the risk from stocks to bonds depending upon the year. The closer you get to retirement, there's more in bonds. Why? Because historically bonds have been a safer uh, place to be with that, but they're not always. Uh, when we see things happen like low interest rates, those bonds that were at a 4 or 5% uh, growth before now all of a sudden are at 1%. It's a big difference. So we want to make sure where we're positioned and how we have that set up. If you're in one of those time-dated funds, let's just call it a TikTok fund, it's automatically adjusting as you go along, but it doesn't care what risk you're willing to take on. It's just searching for that target date. And maybe you retire in 2050, maybe you don't, but your money's going to act like you did. What's the problem? You're probably going to live another 20 or 30 years, and that's how long you want your money to last. So we want to make sure that we're best aligned with what your goals are individually and your risk that you're willing to take on. That's why it's important that you have proactive advice that's able to go through and help you out with where the money is set up. Now, if you don't do that, somebody's go you're going to have to pick the funds. This is what I sometimes see. I was sitting down with somebody, and she had come in. She was actually a school teacher. And when I sat down, uh, we were going over how she had everything set up, and she said, you know, yeah, I've got this money that's saved. It's in my 403B. Uh, you know, I've got some advice on this. Uh, and we were talking a little bit more, and she talked about how she really didn't like taking on risk. She didn't like to see her money go up and down a lot. She liked it to be more predictable. Well, when we looked at it, and I was analyzing, we got back together the next time, I asked her again. I said, yeah, you told me you had somebody you were working with that was helping you out with where it was invested. She said, yeah, exactly. And as I dug a little bit deeper, I said, I noticed that you're in a lot of these investments that are small caps. She said, yeah, exactly. Don't want to take on a lot of risk, so I'm dealing with small companies. I said, no. Small cap means big risk. So we don't want to do that if we're trying to avoid the risk. It kind of rocked her world. She, was, she, was shook, she had no idea that that's what was happening in her world with that. But this was a big part of her future, and she didn't know that it was at risk. So for everybody that's on this video right now that you're watching, I want to make sure that for you individually, I'm able to perform a risk analysis of what's going on in your 401k. So we can look at it. Uh, and be able to analyze over the next six months what's the probability of the money it could potentially gain or lose 
using software that we have. So this is going to give you a more predictable result to see what risk are you really taking on. We can also analyze your 401k and see what features are available that you're not taking advantage of. The specific funds that are in your plan. So we can look and see does it make sense for us to help out with your retirement using your 401k or 403b to potentially better prepare you for your future. If that's something that's of interest to you, you can click the link below for a 15 minute conversation. We can just start there. See is there anything that you have questions on immediately that we can help give focus or attention to to improve your future. So all you've got to do is be able to click the link below so that we can schedule 15 minutes to have a conversation. From that, we'll know, does it make sense for us to work together further? Do we feel like we can help you, that we're a fit? And you can decide, do I want to see if Andy and his team are a fit to be able to assist me? I appreciate your time watching this video and wish you the best. Thank you for watching the Life Wealth Group YouTube channel. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any specific questions as to what you heard today, don't hesitate to reach out to us for a complimentary phone call or meeting in person. Also, don't forget to subscribe.